Um, we're going to try and take the windows out. Um, we're going to reseal all the windows. We know that they leak. We're not really that surprised. This is an old bus. So we're going to take the windows out, clean the edges, put new sealant in them, and then slot them back in, and we should be good to go. All right, Jesse's helping us take the windows out. These emergency exits actually have a wire up here. Um, you just pop them out. Now it's disconnected and now Jesse can remove it. Easy peasy. Okay, so I am scraping the old sealant off of the windows so that we can reseal them so that they don't leak. And the best thing that I've found is to use one of these fancy little scrapers to get the first layer off. And then I take some goof off, spray it on, and take a razor blade to get the next layer because it's pretty thick and it doesn't always come off the first go round with this. Um, and then I spray it again and wipe it down with a towel. So it's a few different steps, but it seems to be working really well um, just to have to go over the same spot about three times and then I get it perfectly clean. So we are preparing to put the windows back in, um, but we have to get off all of this stuff first. So we're finishing cleaning up and then time to put new windows in. All right, quick note about this process. After cleaning off the windowsill from the old butyl tape and the weather stripping, we cleaned it with acetone and then we sprayed it with clear coat just to protect the metal from any scratches that we put in during the removal. All right, today we are finally ready to put the windows back in. We've done a lot of prep work, so we removed the windows. We removed all the old butyl tape from the seals. Um, we removed this old weather stripping from the top of the window. Um, it's super brittle and dry now, so I don't really think it's gonna do a whole lot. We got some new weather stripping there. 
Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put butyl tape around all the edges of the window and then fill the top gap again with this weather stripping. Reason being, it's a pretty large gap and butyl tape becomes kind of like a liquid in the hot sun. So if we fill it with just butyl tape, it's probably gonna drip, so that's probably not good. Um, we'll do this and then if there's any more gaps, we'll just fill it with silicone sealant afterward. All right, so some key takeaways. Um, if I was to do this again, honestly, I might not even take the windows out. I might just put silicone sealant around the exterior of the window from the outside. We ended up doing this anyways after we sealed the windows just as an added layer of protection, but I think it would have been good enough without taking the windows out. The next thing, um, it was pretty cold out when we did this, so we had to use a heat gun or a torch to kind of make the butyl tape a little bit gooier, but we did notice that as it got warmer, the butyl tape did come off quite a bit easier. So hopefully you have some warmer weather when you can do this. This process was very time consuming and the Goof Off Pro was very good to help us get off the old butyl tape. Uh, some of the other ones we tried did not work, but the Goof Off Pro is what we definitely recommend. One other consideration is that you can switch the order of your windows if they're the same size. We ended up putting ours back in the same spot, but we think we could have put the emergency exit windows a little closer to the front just so that we would have that window that actually could open up um, completely. So if you're doing this yourself, you can pick where you want the windows to go.